Hello everyone, Mrs. Lambeth here. I'm an intern at Marietta College and I'm going to read a story to you today. It's called Pandemonia by Chris Owen and Chris Nixon. Here it gives us a definition of pandemonium and it says it's a noun, wild and noisy uproar, rumpus, commotion, bedlam. <clears throat> Pandemonia is an informal noun, complete and utter chaos, often following the disturbance of a blissfully sleeping panda. <clears throat> so you're here at the zoo on this glorious day. You're sure to have fun. It's a great place to play. Come in, look around, relax and explore. Inside you will find there are creatures galore. You'll have a magnificent time at the zoo. Just don't wake the panda, whatever you do. If you wake up the panda, he gets very grumpy, which hypes up the hippos and makes them all jumpy. When the hippos get jumpy, they usually hop, and once they begin, they are tricky to stop. Those hippos create such a hullabaloo, so don't wake the panda whatever you do. When the hippos start hopping, the termites get tickly. They make the inchin echinda, echidna sorry, incredibly prickly, for though, as you probably know, they are titchy, cankerous termites are awfully itchy. They torment the toes of the elephants, too, so don't wake the panda, whatever you do. The zebra, giraffe, and hyenas all laugh. The geckos and gibbons all giggle which causes the emus to shimmy and sway and the top tap airs bottoms to jiggle. Tongue twister look. The chimps chit chatter, the ducks start quacking, the jabberish jabber and the yaks start yakking. So waking the panda might spark off a riot and that's why we like to keep things nice and quiet. When the yaks start yakking, the frogs start humming, the bilbies bop, the baboons start drumming. The air is filled with a deafening din, sending the wallabies into a spin. They bounce to the beat with the red kangaroo, so don't wake the panda whatever you do. If the wallabies bounce, the bats start swinging. The scarlet macaws and the gala start singing. Their swinging and singing sets off the raccoon, whose barking is usually way out of tune. The, racker, the raucous raccoon makes a racket, it's true. So don't wake the panda, whatever you do. <clears throat> the snakes serenade as the peacocks parade and the devils start gnashing their jaws. And when the koala whips up more palaver, the penguins break into applause. The wombats wiggle, orangutans romp, the lemurs leap, and the rhinos stomp. The ground vibrates and the treetops shake. Yes, waking the panda would be a mistake. When treetops shake, the sloths start to shuffle, which ends up creating a mighty kerfuffle. For though sloths are slow and appear rather lazy, if they're in the mood, they can really go crazy. The crocodile, too, starts snapping on cue, so don't wake the panda. Don't wake the panda. No, don't wake the panda, whatever you do.
When the crocodile snaps, the lion will roar. The bison and buffalo bellow for more. A frenzy of animals flocked to the floor. And that's when you know there is trouble in store. The black cockatoos like to screech, rock, and roll. The toucans can can right out of control. The grizzly bears start to rumba as well. And even the tortoise comes out of her shell. Flamingos and dingoes all do the fandango. The chinchillas cha-cha, the tamarins tango. Yes, waking the panda could cause a stampede and here at the zoo, that's the last thing we need. There's grunting and growling and prancing and prowling, skipping and scowling and squealing and yowling, squeaking and squawking, snarling and snorting, hysterical howling, chaotic cavorting. Then, just when you think that rhyme might slow, the beasts go wild and louder they grow. Into the night the shenanigans flow as they dance in the light of the glowworms glow, singing zoo bop a loo bop a wham bam boo. <clears throat> so don't wake the panda. Please don't wake the panda. No, do not wake the panda whatever you do oops the end i hope you enjoyed this tongue twister of a book